Welcome to List of 13. I'm Megan. And I'm Rob. Thanks for watching. We make lists on various topics, find 13 awesome facts, and present them to you. If you have trisodectophobia, this video may not be for you. Otherwise, enjoy the list. Here at Lists of 13, we like cars. Some may even say we have an unhealthy obsession with them. It doesn't matter what kind of car it is, we are interested in them. Fast cars, slow cars, new cars, old cars, American cars, imports, any kind of cars. In this series, we are talking about cars. All kinds of cars. The good, the bad, and the things that you probably didn't know. Some say Ford stands for fix or repair daily. Others say first on race day. Some love them, some hate them. Just like any other company, they make better and worse products, and it also depends on how you treat them. Today we bring you 13 facts about Ford you probably didn't know. Number one, the very first Ford was sold to Dr. Fenning in 1903 for a grand total of $850. In today's money, that's about $29,000. His Model A had a two-cylinder engine and would reach a max speed of 30 miles an hour. Well, that $850 sounds good until you realize it's nearly 30 grand today and that I could buy a Vespa scooter that goes fast. Right. Still, cool that he owned the first Ford. Yes. Number two, not many people have heard or know about the great friendship between Henry Ford and Thomas Edison. Before Henry Ford became the great man he's mostly remembered as, he worked for Thomas Edison at the Edison Illuminating Company in Detroit, Michigan, as the company's chief engineer. As friendship was very important to Henry Ford, he made sure that the last breath of Thomas Edison was captured in a test tube and sealed. Henry wanted to preserve and cherish his friendship with Thomas Edison, and to this day, that test tube remains as a prized possession of the Ford family. I don't know, that sounds a little bit weird to me, but okay. The thing I'll say also, not only only was Henry Ford great friends with Thomas Edison, he was also great friends with Harvey Firestone, which is why up until pretty recently, almost any car you would buy from Ford had Firestone tires. That's cool. I can see how it is a little bit creepy, but if you think back to the time that these gentlemen were alive, they did a lot of weird things in death. They stopped clocks, they hung things on the walls to cover all the pictures, they took pictures of the dead. It was a different time. So while it sounds creepy today, kind of sweet. Okay, number three. Henry Ford's first vehicle was called the Ford Quadricycle. It had four bicycle wheels mounted on a simple frame with a gasoline engine. This was completed in 1896. Sounds like a semi-practical vehicle. I mean, at least it had a gasoline engine, so it got you going places. True. Number four, with Bonnie Parker, Clyde Barrow became notorious outlaws of their time. We generally know them as Bonnie and Clyde. Clyde Barrow carried out his heist in Ford vehicles. According to rumors, the two wrote letters to Ford thanking him for the incredible cars he was making. That's pretty fun. Well, yes. So while you're not directly contributing to the violence and the theft that's taking place, they're still saying thank you. You're helping us get away with it. Because of the good cars. Number five. In 1964, after the Ford Mustang was debuted, 94,000 pedal-powered toy Mustangs were bought for children the following Christmas season. Well, that's fun. I've seen a lot of those little pedal powered cars and I can think that a little Mustang would be pretty cute. Very true. Number six. In 1914, the average factory worker earned $2.50 per day. Henry Ford increased the pay of his employees to $5 a day in 1914, which was unheard of at its time. It was a move that resulted in a positive atmosphere among employees. Their productivity went up drastically as a result. Well, really, I mean, that even happens today a lot of times. If you work at one company and do something and then people at another company do the same thing and they get paid twice as much, the group that gets paid twice as much is probably going to do better work. We want to thank you again and tell you how much it means for you to watch this video. We would really appreciate if you would do some things to help our channel grow and reach more people. We would be so grateful for you to subscribe to the channel, like this video, ring the bell, and share this video with your friends. As a result, YouTube will share our video with more people. Number seven, more millionaires drive Ford F-150s than any other vehicle. Well, that's fine. Good thing I'm not a millionaire because I don't want to hop up in a truck. Because you're so short. Right. Number eight. The Ford Thunderbird was first manufactured in 1955 and finished production in 2005. During this 50-year period, 11 different models of the Thunderbird were released. Ford had produced over 4.4 million Thunderbirds throughout its lifespan. The Thunderbird was also famously called the T-Bird. And you know, most of the T-Birds that were produced are cars that I really, really like. The one that I really wasn't very excited about was the last iteration. I mean, if you're going to have something that's got the years and years of history it has, making it something that was such a flop just is really not cool in my opinion. Number nine, the Doors are one of the most well-known rock bands in music history with a worldwide fan base. Jim Morrison was the band's lead singer. The only car he ever owned was a 1967 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. I'm drooling over here right now. I would really like that car. Number 10, in order to purchase a new Ford GT, you needed to fill out an application and be approved by Ford Motor Company. Sadly, they stopped production of this car in December of 2022. It was a really nice car. 
I think it's very fun that you had to fill out an application to have one of them. I mean, it's basically like, well, you got to give us half a million dollars, but only if we like you and approve you to own one of these amazing cars. I'll never forget, we were driving down Divided Highway early on a Saturday morning, year and a half ago or so, and a whole slew of cars on a rally race came by us in groups and they were all high-end supercars and when the GT came by I couldn't believe what it was and didn't know at the time but it immediately made me yell what is that yeah the sound in your voice though you were so excited by the car because it's something you had never seen in person before and it looks and sounds super freaking cool true story number 11 Ford Motor Company tried to build a small village in the Brazilian Amazon rainforest in 1928 the idea was to create a large rubber plantation that would serve multiple purposes. Henry wanted to create massive job opportunities for the locals and he also wanted to supply fresh rubber to his factories. Number 12. Ford Motor Company began manufacturing airplanes during World War I to lend a hand to the United States military. I've heard of some of those airplanes before and I think it'd be really fun to fly on one. Maybe a little more concerning than flying on a regular airplane, but I still think it'd be really fun. I think I'll stay on the ground. Thank you. And number 13. With the exception of the Mustang, Ford is no longer selling cars. They found their trucks and SUVs sell more units. They are also investing heavily in electric vehicles and hybrids. While I very much enjoy an SUV, and I know pickups are very practical, there is something a little bit sad about all of the major companies nearly eliminating the sales of cars when cars were such a huge part of this market for generations. Yeah, I kind of agree with that too. Um, I'd have to say one of the cars that I was the saddest about bowing out because of this was the Ford Fusion, which is really a pretty cool car in my opinion. But at the same time, you got to look at them and the fact that they're doing what's best for their bottom line and if the cars just aren't selling as well as they used to i'd have to say i kind of understand it it's just interesting to think that while you and i enjoy going and watching cars cruise and go to car shows outside of maybe a few supercars there hasn't been anything really genuinely cool that has come out probably out of the 90s or later at some point in the future unless people can continue to keep these cars going i'm not sure what you would go see it's just kind of sad to think that the things that our grandparents drove around won't to exist and there isn't really anything that's going to replace them. Yeah, that is very true. And because of that, people who are owners of those older cars, it really would be a great thing for them to just keep maintaining them and keep them alive, if you will. We hope you enjoyed this list of 13 facts about Ford you probably didn't know. Tell us which fact was your favorite or if you have a favorite car, truck, or SUV made by the Ford Motor Company. Thanks again for watching. If you have an idea for a new video, tell us in the comments. We'll mention you if we do it. We hope you have an awesome day. And please be, be kind, kind to, to each, each other. other.